All right, so here's a quick video on how to do the weekly scorecard, um, but you'll be actually updating this daily. And then we'll go through, we'll have weekly meetings to discuss where we can improve and um, the numbers for the week. So let's see. <clears throat> So basically, you would, if for whatever you're responsible for, say marketing, um, you would go to, today is the 29th actually, so you would, um, let's see, go on the Podio, go to the, the direct mail tab, or the app. And you basically want to see campaigns charged. And say, you know what, I'll actually do this for last week. Because I don't think anything's been charged this week. So, you would um, go back, go to Podio, and go to Create It On. And you would do the last calendar week, actually. So that would be yeah, the twenty second. So three campaigns were charged. Looks like. All right. So I'm gonna just switch this layout so I don't have to click it. I think I can see. The charge. I can. Okay, the charge is right there in my face. All right, so on the twenty second, we spent three hundred and twenty seven dollars. Three hundred and twenty seven. Okay, so to add to consciously add this, you would have equal sign three hundred and twenty seven dollars and I think twenty eight cents. 98 cents. 98 cents plus $1,115. Three cents plus $376. And hit enter. And there is your um, money. There we go. All right. Um, and that's leading up to today. So let's say, for instance, you were just today and because you want to update this daily. So uh, today, let's see. Or you can, you know what? You actually can update this every, um, I guess every like today's the 29th. So all of this data would be in Podio. So I haven't gotten this under to where it goes in Podio yet. I'm still working on that. So leads by direct mail. I will go to metrics and I will go to viable leads and I would go to create it in the past seven days. So in the past seven days, 62 leads came from direct mail, I think. I think this is how you do this, and where you do seller leads. I think, well, you may do seller leads. But I don't know if we should do all leads or, yes, I guess we could do all leads. Filter, create it on. Seven days. 
in the past seven days, apparently 155 leads came in. Hundred and fifty five leads came in. Um that's pretty simple actually. It's it's right here. And we would just upload that. Um and just see how many contracts we sent. So here seven days. We sent one contract. Sent one contract. No. Contract. The dollar amount of that contract is what's the ten thousand? Ten thousand dollars. How many offers did we make? Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, we can see that too. But this needs to be updated every week. I would say every first thing Monday morning. Let's see. I think to see how many offers. No, okay, we can do it right here. Seven days. Wow, we didn't send any pre-sale letters in the last seven days. It's hmm. not good. Anyways, so we will, but I'm sure. Oh no. Because we should have made off on all of these properties. So let's just say 13, let's see that, 13 resonated offers. We have one appointment. Right, um, self generated leads zero, closing ratio is whatever price is around about one eight, I think. I'll have to get back on it, but this is basically. What, um, yeah, it's one out of 13, so it's like a less than 10%, maybe. But we'll, die. we'll get better at these numbers. Um, but let's see, closing this week, I'll upload that stuff. But that's basically it on how to fill out the scorecard. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know.